the beautiful Artemis is chained to a rock and you are Apollo flying Pegasus in this 1990 vertical scrolling shooter on the Sega Genesis. Originally released as a 1988 arcade machine from Namco. Your objective is simple, shoot everything that gets in your way, save the damsel in distress right off into the sunset, and invest life's savings into an Olive Garden franchise. Enjoy free breadsticks and salad for the rest of your life. It's a quest worth fighting for in Philios. A solid vertical scrolling spaceship shooter style game with a horse on the Genesis. I for one like the animation on Pegasus. This is a nice change from your standard spaceship shooter because you're not flying a spaceship. That would be ridiculous. You're flying a horse with wings. Philios is loosely based on Greek mythology, so prepare to battle some famous bad guys like Medusa, who's looking a little rough in this game. Seriously, try washing your hair. She speaks, you have to save her. And I'll tell you what, she would give the girl from the Super Monaco GP menu screen a run for her money in the 16-bit Hottie of the Universe competition. The gameplay in Philios is really straightforward. It only uses one button, which is actually quite nice. You can charge your shot, which fills up your sword and makes that annoying alarm sound which will cut through enemies and deliver a nice powerful hit on bosses. The two little blue things floating with me are not fairies, they're options that you collect along the way, as well as occasional weapon power-ups. And of course, shoot everything that you can to increase your score and earn an extra life. Because everyone needs an extra life. As you can see from the bar beneath the sword, Apollo can take a few hits along the way until he's finally knocked off his horse, and you lose a life. The fact is, Philios is a very cool game that plays like a lot of other vertical scrolling shooters on the Genesis, except it has a really cool style that makes it somewhat unique. Also, you're flying Pegasus while shooting things with a flaming sword. How badass is that? Philios is fairly easy to find and affordable to collect for your Sega Genesis or Mega Drive. Also, it's available on Nintendo's Virtual Console. And let's face it, this is a cool game that fans of the genre will want to play. There's two modes of difficulty. The normal mode, which will only take you through levels 1 to 4 and is quite easy, so it's good for beginners and the advanced mode, which is what I've been playing here, which will take you through all of the levels, and is far more challenging. The music and visuals are good, and while they're not as memorable as they are in some games like Musha or Truxton, Philios stands out as a game worth playing. This game was sent to the show by our friend Benjamin from Buffalo, New York. Would this game be different if Apollo rode a flying buffalo? With really tasty wings. Siren is a dreadful what? Oh, a witch. Yes, yes she is. Here's a look at the easy mode, which is good for practicing. You get an extra life every 20,000 points in easy, so it's uh, fairly, well, easy. But you don't get to actually save Artemis. She just, uh... I still remember. Okay. Well, let's, let's just say this scene ends differently. It actually doesn't. I'm just trying to give you more incentive to play. Philios! Philios!